Hello everybody, this is Taffy Senior and um, I'm going to continue The Walking Dead see how well I do connecting at the moment should be two shakes of a lamb's tail or three or four right then play and play and continue did it continue from where yep we're outside again right come on let's get a going hobble along yes I think his leg is not too well yes push Uh, stop your whining. It's hot this night. Push. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Or should I go I now? I want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yep, a genius here. Right, push. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Eat you? Yeah. Bring your side, you don't have to go back for seconds. Right then, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. Ooh. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hey, Chet. You shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Okay. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm her babysitter, her and they better pay me overtime. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Right, yo. What do you want to do? Leg it. Hi. Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Uh, note to self. Push like crazy. Come on, get your back into it. Here we are, sorted. Dive in. As babysitters go, I'd say the parents are doing a tip. Yes, big one. Some driving. I think he did pretty well there. Ooh, it's dark outside. Catch you tomorrow night. Okie dokie. TTFM. It was nice to meet you both. Ciao. Thank 
down, you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Don't reckon down the way things have mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Yep. You would have made fantastic beef. You brought a couple guests. The boy is a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, did you know this man? Of course she does. Yes. I bring okay. the real babysitter. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Cut Sean, it off. Run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Okie dokie. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. It's not too bad? Tough guy, huh? What did you say Damn your name yeah. was? I didn't. I did Well, now's the time. Yeah. Doesn't matter, right? Huh. Well, if you're going to be here overnight, I'm going to need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee. Just Lee, I take it. I'm her First name is Well. Well, Lee. How'd this happen? Jump in a fence. Jump in a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Plenty. The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. Yep, we take the barn. your name, darling? Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um... Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. It does. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fence. Oh. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son is right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Um, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Awesome. Leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Uh -huh. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? That way. Towards making, I suppose. Time to hit the hay. It smells like... Manure. Manure. Manure? Yes. Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Yes. It's good for the garden. It's my mom and dad. I bet, Claire. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh. That's right, sleep. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Ooh. That's some dream. Loading. Hey, get up. Who are you? What itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Babe, sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> Typical kids. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Ducko. Um. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. That's so true. That from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah, on, well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Go on in. Hop, 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 hop. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Visit. Right then, time to explore. Oh, let's go this way. Excuse me, ladies. Dang, 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 dang. Aha, uh -huh, I see them. I see a tractor, do I get to drive it? Look at the fence. Very nice. You, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Well done. So the chat. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Uh, manual labor. Too much like hard work. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was, was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned and put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pulled the trigger. Bam! And the zombie's like gone. That. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Really? How about yours? How's your family? Um, uh, My parents are... My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problemo. Right, let's see what's, what other mischief I can get into. Tractor? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bureau. Awesome. I'm good. Duck, duck, duck. Ooh, let's have a chat with the duck. How you doing, Doug? Good! I'm going to drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift um. me your back, Sean! Oh... Doug reminds me of, uh... 
Chappie Jr. Yeah. What's in this barn? Anything like an half inch? Nope. Ooh, is a truck. Hang on. It's of a... Wait, what happened there? It seems like an alright dude. He seems like an alright dude. Talking of alright dudes. Oh my god, there's my peace and quiet gone. Hello. What are you doing here? Okay, I'm you. You're supposed to be out gallivanting. Yeah, well, I'm not. I just decided to pop in and see how you're doing. Awesome, buddy. What are you doing? Nothing for you yet, matey boy. Okay, so you continue that. I'm gonna go do whatever. Okay, you go out there. Right. Hey there, uh, Kitty. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Fair do dues. you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm the clue. I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Drove you quackers. Oh. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Dolphin? Gotcha you wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Hmm. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Ooh. I thought he was kidnapped. Oh, cool. I was on the fucker in about two seconds. Oh. Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Good. Where to now, Elizabeth? A gander? Uh huh. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Ah, let's hey talk there, to the girls. woman. You two actually look relaxed. Well, of I course. think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. Damn. It's peaceful. You missed all the fun then. How was the city? How did you handle getting to the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Couldn't be out. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things <laughs> Doc went through. Are oh, you still not quite as? Go back to the moment before he knew about all of this. Who wouldn't? Anybody in their right mind would. Families, barbecues, and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those guns, what's the point? Yes. Well, let's go. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go see the old dude. It's going to talk to Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Oh, shut your pile. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it. Unless that name is no good. It's not. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. 
And if you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Oh. Family's important. So yep, matters. true. You agree with that? Yes, I do. Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? I ate them. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? Yep. You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. Sure, why not? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. Okay. If those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Whoa. Getting for the clobbering. Save the day. Uh, no, I'll fog off the other way. Push the tractor. Superhuman strength, activate. Oh. It's show time. Oh my gosh. Say cheese. I'm okay, Pop. Yep, you're looking healthy. A picture of health. We'll stitch you up. It almost almost got me, man. Almost got you, I think it did get you. Well, come on, we're in suspense. Dang it. Uh oh, you ain't not me. Anyway, smells of manure, yeah. We're going. Toodle pip. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Sure, why not? We needs it. Come on, Clem. Grab your stuff. Grab my stuff. And let's go. Eventful drive. We is now here. Well, 
This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Well then, I think um, I shall stop it by here and should carry on from the next one. See all you little...